Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Cummins and welcome to this ninja training lesson. So we're going to be using the Book of Ninja, uh, the Bansen Shukai, and we're going to be turning to page 95. Now, what we're going to talk about today is dark and light patrolling. Okay, Kamari is another word for sort of shinobi, secret scouting, secret infiltration, things like that, or like moving in the dark, if you will. Um, now, what you've got to imagine, you're in your castle or you're in your camp, and you're not the shinobi this time, uh, you are the defenders. So probably you are shinobi defending. Now, the normal people, uh, the non-shinobi trained people, uh, I'm just um, stereotyping here or generalising, but normally the non-shinobi type people will do the rounds and they have torches in their hand. So on the outside it's dark, you've got your castle or your camp, there's watch fires in different areas and they only light up a very small amount, the rest of it is black and shinobi are trying to infiltrate through them. So you have people with torches walking round in intervals. Let's say every 20 minutes they're walking round. So one area patrol, one group patrol here, one group patrol here, but it's quite a big place. So the shinobi is waiting, and what he does is he waits for the lights to go past, and then he creeps in and he goes inside and he climbs up the wall and he gets in and he hides inside a barrel or a basket, and he waits there. But what the ninja doesn't realize is that there is the dark scouts who come after him. This is his Kamaritsuke. This is those who search for, you know, the shinobi after. So, you've got the people with torches walking around, the ninja is waiting, but behind, so every 20 minutes they go past, but directly behind them, maybe two or three minutes behind them, are very quiet, very dark, stealthy scouts who are moving along the wall, creeping, they're, they're keeping low and they're moving in. And what they're waiting for is that shinobi will let the light go past and they'll wait two minutes or something. And um, then the shinobi will creep in. They are waiting for that gap. So you've got the man with the lights go past, the enemy shinobi tries to creep in, but they have been sat in the dark waiting. Now, I know if you talk to Stephen Nigeri about this, he's very much um, uh, a Kusunoki fan, and we think the Kusunoki uh, teachings are littered in the Bansen Shukai. In fact, I personally believe the Bansen Shukai is a Kusunoki manual. And um, the, in Kusunoki Ryu, they have the dark and light patrol. I know in Natoryu, which is Book of Samurai, they have a very much, a, you have the dark and the light, the, the light bearer goes there and you stand out of the light and watch the light bearer so you can see where you're going, but you're outside of the light or you keep them away from you when you need to go into combat. It's a very Kusunoki trait and I presume other schools to have this light and dark patrolling and this light and dark at night attitude. So. If you're a shinobi, remember to listen out for the enemy dark patrol after you've watched the light patrol. And if you're protecting against shinobi, remember that you have to instigate a dark patrol who follows after your light patrol. This is the idea of those who carry lights to look for shinobi and those who look for shinobi in the dark. Okay, my name's Anthony Cummins. Subscribe if you want more ninja training.